without foundation, wanted to eat like the best of us. Her diet was whey, and I hasten to say, it is wholesome and people grow fat on it. The spot being lonely, the lady not only discovered the tub, but sat on it. A rivulet cattle beside her in the battle, as rivulets often are wont to do. And dragonflies sported around and cavorted, as poets say dragonflies ought to do. When glancing aside for a moment, she spied a horrible sight that brought fear to her. A hideous spider was sitting beside her and most unavoidably near to her. Albeit unsightly, the creature politely said, Now I earnestly bow to you. I'm penitent that I did not have my hat. I would otherwise certainly bow to you. Though anxious to please, he was so ill at ease that he lost all his sense of propriety. And grew so inept that he clumsily stepped in her plate, which is barred in society. <laughs> She shuddered and growing much paler, not only left huffing, but dealt him a buffet which doubled him into a sailor knock. It should be explained that at this he was pained. He cried, I have vexed you, no doubt of it. Your fist like a trunch, and you're still in my luncheon, was all that she offered. Get out of it! <laughs> and the moral is this, be it madam or miss, to whom you have something to say. Only absurd when you get in the curve. <laughs> but you're right when you get in the